We're taking a trip back to the 70s for this week in weather history. As 3 News Now meteorologist and weather historian Joseph Meyer tells us, the story of a storm that ripped right through the heart of Omaha. May 6, 1975. It's a day that many Omahaians have remembered ever since as an F4 tornado tore right through the heart of the metro area. It began with a large low pressure system sitting over Rapid City, South Dakota. Big cold front stretching down to the south and east. Now this cold front was the trigger for some thunderstorms in the area, but what it also had the extra added ingredient was some extra wind shear that was developed by a boundary that was sitting from Norfolk to Omaha to Clorinda. This boundary adds extra wind shear to the atmosphere and where it intersected with the cold front, as the cold front pushed east, the boundary slid to the south like a zipper coming together. That added wind shear created supercells and spawned tornadoes in an arc from northeast Nebraska down into northern Missouri, just sort of like that. The zipper going right through the Omaha Metro. The tornadoes started in northeast Nebraska, one missing the town of Pierce hitting magnet. Every storm, every building in the town was damaged. Nobody was killed in the town of about 58 people. Now the tornado went through Windside, but the one most people remember is the one that went right through parts of the Metro, touching down near Werner Park, heading to the north and east. As it approached 72nd, it made a turn due north, basically riding up 72nd Street, impacting areas like Westgate Elementary, Bergen Mercy, Creighton Prep, NFM. Just a list of the thousands of buildings that were impacted by this. Of the nearly 15,000 people that were impacted by this tornado, three people lost their lives. Considered a miracle due to the early warning lead time by about 20 minutes and people such as David Campbell warning people in the path of the tornado. Now throughout next week, we'll have a plethora of details, including a big blog post detailing all of this and an interview with one of the heroes of the tornado of 1975. All that will be on our website at 3newsnow.com over the coming days.